Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about deviated nasal septum. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Nasal septum is the structure in the nose that separates the nasal cavity into two nostrils. Deviated nasal septum is a physical disorder of the nose. In DNS, there is displacement of the nasal septum. There is some displacement of the nasal septum in about 80% of the people, but they are mostly asymptomatic. This picture is a CT scan image of deviated nasal septum. This picture shows an MRI image of a deviated nasal septum. Now coming to the etiology of deviated nasal septum. Trauma can lead to DNS, example lateral blow on the nose. DNS can also be caused due to developmental error. For example, a high arched palate leads to deviated nasal septum. Racial factors play a role in deviated nasal septum. For example, Caucasians are more affected. Hereditary factors also play a role in deviated nasal septum because DNS tends to run in families. Now, what are the types of deviated nasal septum? Anterior dislocation. Here, the septal cartilage is dislocated into one of the nasal chambers. DNS can be a C-shaped deformity. Here, the nasal septum is deviated in a simple curve to one side. Compensatory hypertrophy of turbinates occurs on the other side. DNS can be an S-shaped deformity. An S-shaped deformity causes bilateral nasal obstruction. Spurs is another type of DNS. A spur is a shelf-like projection pressing on lateral wall of nose and giving rise to headache. Thickening is also a type of DNS. Thickening can occur due to organized septal hematoma or overriding of septal dislocated fragments. Now what are the clinical features of deviated nasal septum? A patient with deviated nasal septum complains of nasal obstruction, headache, Sinusitis, epistaxis that is bleeding from inside the nose, anosmia that is inability to smell, external deformity and middle ear infection. How do you treat a case of deviated nasal septum? Minor deviated nasal septum with no symptoms requires no treatment. If symptomatic, surgery can be done. There are two surgeries. One is submucous resection. It is done under local anesthesia. The mucopericondyl and mucoperiosteal flaps are elevated. The deflected parts of septum are removed and the flaps are repositioned. Another surgery is septoplasty. In this, only the most deviated parts of septum are removed. The rest of the septal framework is corrected and repositioned by plastic means. Thank you.